All right, good morning. Uh, it's time for children's story, and we do take up a children's offering. This one is going to Pathfinders. So if any kids out there, as you come up, see if you can collect some dollars and fives and tens and hundreds, whatever's available out there, and please bring it on up. And I have a fun little story for you today. We had some fun with this one. So make it so you can see the TV. We've had some fun. Usually we can put it on the big screen, but today you gotta be able to watch this one. Because I teach biology, it's one of my favorite subjects, and one of the things that I've always enjoyed is animals. And so to start with, I have some animal eyes for you guys to see. Can you guess the animal? What do you think? Well, it's not a lizard. I'll tell you, this animal did bite me. I had one of these things bite me once. Mmm, any other ideas? It's a really interesting eye because it's horizontal. Instead of being a round pupil, it's square. So what do you think? You don't know? If I give you a little bit bigger clue, there's a little bit bigger clue. And here's an even better one. Oh. Ah, it's an octopus. What do you know about octopuses? How many legs? Eight legs. They have eight of them. Eight, and they're not tentacles, they are legs. Okay, eight arms to reach out with. And a couple interesting things about them. What are these guys? They're suckers. Uh, Pacific octopus has around 260 of these suckers per leg for grabbing onto things. Now, they have eyes, as you can see, like we were showing you. And I'm going to switch the slides so the guys in the back can. We're trying to coordinate here a little bit. Um, we've had technical difficulties this morning. This guy, isn't he cool? And yes, I was bit by one of these guys. Do you know what um, their mouth looks like? Their mouth is really kind of cool. So let me show you what their mouth looks like. So this is where their mouth would be, right down in the center. And their mouth is actually a beak. It looks like a parrot's beak. OK? And we ended up having one of these. We were taking pictures of it in a little tank. It crawled out of the tank onto my hand. And I remember telling Harold, take it quick, it's biting. Now, interesting things about these guys is they have blood. What color is your blood when you bleed? Red. Red. You want to know what color octopus's blood is? It's blue. Our blood has got um, iron in it. No, but I'm trying the word for iron. Hemo. Hemoglobin. 
And theirs, I had to write it down because it's like, I'm not going to remember that. Hemocyanin. So they have blue blood. And let's take a look at the inside. How many hearts do you have? One. They have three. They have three hearts. Two of the hearts are around where their gills are, because remember, they breathe water. And the other one works all the legs. And if you look at their body, it's like, is there any bones in that body? No bones. They're called an invertebrate. You know what that word means? A vertebrate, think vertebrae, think those backbones. Everybody, you know where your backbone is, right? Do they have a spine? No spine. They're a squishy animal. In fact, one of the things that they can do, if the opening is the size of a quarter, and they can get a leg through, they'll get the rest of them through too. Isn't that cool? So um, this area here, this is for their jet propulsion, so they can scoot and run and move fast. And one of the things they eat, they eat crabs, they eat shellfish, they eat little snails. But other things, of course, eat them. So they have some ways to protect themselves. Things that would eat them might be a shark, maybe even another octopus. No, they're pretty, the whales probably won't find, but seagulls might if they're in the shallows. Um, but these guys, they're fairly small for this one. But one of the ways they hide is in small cracks. Remember, I told you they can get in small places. Here's a small place that they could get into. And here's another one that they can get into. It's a, somebody dropped a bottle at the bottom of the ocean, and he decided to go inside. Um, other things, though, that are really kind of fun to watch for these guys is this one. See the, what it looks like now? They have the ability to camouflage. Here he is a little darker, and, but if you look at the last one, now he blends into the surrounding. Can you see the octopus there at all? He's, it's there someplace. <laughs> Here's another one that's blended in pretty good. This one you can kind of see. You can see where his eye is. You can see where that siphon is, where he's taking water in and out of these areas here. But does he blend in really nice? So that's one of the ways he can avoid predators. Nobody might see him, and he might not be able to eat. The other thing that they can do, see this? It's like pepper spray. Um, some people think like it's a smoke screen, but it's, it's even thicker. Octopus doesn't just make a good smoke screen for his escape. It confuses the senses of animals that are after him. So that puff of ink that he pushes out can cause somebody else to leave him alone. And I already mentioned their skin, their special skin that changes so much. I mean, they can camouflage themselves so good. And octopuses are extremely smart. Are you smart? Yeah. But octopuses are smart, too. They're one of the smartest invertebrates around. They can actually, with their eyes, they ha their brain is right between their eyes. And it's a very small neuron set that has about 5 million neurons in it. And each one of their arms has, and one third of it's between their eyes, but the rest of them are in their arms. That means each arm can work independently. The brain says, go do this, and the arm is, goes busy to do it. So one arm could be reaching for the crab, another arm could be checking out the seagrass, and so those arms are very much independently working. And I think that's really fascinating. And you guys, who made these for us? God did. When God created these animals, he created them really, really special. And you too are created really special. There's a verse in the Bible, Psalms 139, you knit me together in my mother's womb. In other words, he gave you your fingerprints, he gave you your eye color, he gave you your hair color. You are as special as these octopus. And if you get a chance, maybe you can look up some of the videos online because that's what I had so much fun doing last night. I can't tell you how much time I spent watching. Oh, that one's a cool. Oh, look at this one. Hey, Harold, come over here and see this. Um, I spent a lot of time just enjoying looking at octopus. So hopefully you can find something you can enjoy looking at too because God made you special in so many ways that you can use your creativity and maybe even 
research and find out more about octopus. All right, we'll send you back to your seats now.